Hello everybody, I'm the Anthopple, and today we're taking a look at Vault 34. Vault 34 is a very strange vault with a shitload of ghouls in it, so be prepared for that. It can be located just north of the Followers Outpost and Camp Golf, and just to the east of the Aerotech National Park, or Office Park, sorry. Outside it, you'll see a truck and a lot of golden geckos, and inside you're going to need a lot of rad, rad X and rad away because of the radiation, and a lot of, I would suggest, shotgun ammo for the ghouls. Now, there's nothing actually in the cave itself, so that will sort of lull you into false sense of security. The only thing of interest is the actual vault itself. Now, when you actually get into the main section, what you're only going to do is go to the worm to the right, because you're going to see the Overseer's Journal Fragments, which will tell you a bit about the vault, what's been happening, what's been going on. So that's the whole thing. Um, the, these fragments essentially let you piece together the entire um, story of the vault. So in this instance, um, the population growth is going unhindered, okay, it's bad. So he's wanted to take steps to take it, and here he's locked the armory down. People are pissed off about it, okay, they're not too happy about it. Um, the armory seems to be a very large part of this vault. So, yeah, people are pissed. So, within the area, you can either go downstairs, or you can go, well, straight ahead of the room to the left. And you're going to see your first glimpse of the ghouls. Now they're going to be in either armor or they're going to be naked, as is usual, and there's going to be quite a few glowing ones, so please be aware of that. Don't go into this vault if you're too low leveled or you will die. Okay, you will die. So in the terminal, you can see the welcome, welcome to the vault, it's kind of corrupted. We've got all these living quarters, we've got pools, we've got a really good armory. I don't know why that's even a thing. Then it's going to tell you about the flooding in the reactor. So parts of the vault were flooded and the reactor was damaged, which was most likely the reason why the ghouls, well, everyone turned into ghouls. So yeah, there's that. Then there's the log. Okay, the log is uh, here's telling you that they can't defend themselves. So he's locked the armory down and presumably people have turned into ghouls or some have and they can't defend themselves. That's probably why most of the people are dead. Except there is a group of survivors, which we will come to later. So you can either go two places, through that hole, which I really don't recommend, the room to the left has nothing, so you're basically just going to the right here, because the area to the left here has nothing of interest either. So through the stairs, you're going to be going deeper into the vault, and, well, you're going to get to the area which has a lot of interesting things. Now, some of these rooms are pointless, there's nothing of interest in them. This room is where the hole comes through. I don't recommend going here, simply because there's a lot of ghouls down here, and you can get swarmed and, well killed essentially and your companion probably won't make it to you in time if you have one with you another thing you're going to want to see is this okay this room has ghouls in them this door will break open at some point but you can't get into it next the only thing of interest is either down there now that's just flooded with water there's nothing of interest down there so don't even bother endangering yourself don't sweat it and then this room in here, which has a couple of knickknacks, some crap in the locker. I really wouldn't bother with it. And a Patriot's cookbook. So, when you're heading straight ahead, okay, you can get to another room with nothing really in it. But, you can have a look. And then the other thing of interest is going to be, well, you can also see some of the Vault Dwellers. They didn't have the guard armor, so for some reason the guard's armor stayed on them. And the people for the ghouls, all their clothes are disintegrated. I don't know why. The Overseer's vault is our door is locked and you have to unlock it from another area in the vault which we're going to come to just in a minute. And then you're going to go through the clinic. There's going to be a lot of ghouls in here and over in the far left corner I suppose you would call it is going to be a safe. What's in the safe? You have to find out yourself because I already emptied it and I don't have footage of that. So here you're going to see, well, down there which you're going to have to go to in a minute and then this room up to the left here. Now in here there's going to be a terminal. It's a h very hard, so if you don't have 100 science, you can also get the security armor for the vault. If you don't have 100 science, you can get the key code from the flooded area that we just passed there by swimming down into it, which we're going to do right now. So if you're going to go down in here, save before, because you may get caught on, you know, environment objects or whatever. So you're going to go to the vault, te vault technician under the table here, get the password off him, and then get the hail back out before your error runs out. So, you're going to go in, you're going to access the terminal, and you're going to be able to get a couple more things. So, you're going to get another log, which sheds more light on the vault. Warning the flooding, the reactor, the same as you've seen in the computer before. Not real much point looking at it. But then you're going to see the log. Now, it's corrupted as well. You can see here, people are saying that they need to gain, regain control. You're going to attack the armory, they're going to take it back from the overseer. Overseer fucked up again. Good job. And then here... 
right here, below, you're going to hit the system, which allows you to activate the pump station. This will drain the area that you were just in, so you're going to be able to go into it, you're going to be able to muck about down there. Now there's nothing of interest in the room which you just came from, so the only room is straight ahead. Now there's going to be ghouls in here, and there's also going to be ghoul at some points in this vault, ghouls are going to spawn out of nowhere. Like I mean you'll have cleared the area and then you just hear them. So be prepared for that, it can sometimes scare the shit out of you. Scare the shit out of me a couple of times. So straight ahead you're going to get to a very hard lock terminal and another overseer's journal fragment, which once again shreds more information in the vault. So here you're going to say it's sealed after them, they've destroyed it. So additional guards at um, the armory resulted in fewer guards throughout and that meant that the reactor was attacked and damaged. Now they're saying that they can't get out and, well, the reactor's been damaged. So that's why, you know, everyone's turned into ghouls, essentially. Right, like, right, that sound right there was a ghoul. So this allows you to unlock the overseer's office and you can make your way back to there. <coughs> Now, a couple things about this over here's office. The door to the left here, as you're going to see, ghouls are going to come out of there, and straight ahead is where you want to go. Don't worry about anywhere else, there's nothing of interest. You're going to open this, you're going to get a very powerful overseer with two turrets, sort of like a boss. And the door behind you is going to explode and leash these two Egypts right there. I recommend killing them before you take care of the overseer, to be honest. Now, within here you can get a couple of stim packs, you can get further underneath the vault, there'll be a window that will let you look into the actual armory itself, and you can also gain access to the overseer's terminal using the password which is found in his body. Now, this will allow you to unlock the armory as well, I don't know why it can be unlocked from here, but, you know, whatever, the overseer's crazy. So you can unlock the armory, and you can also get more of his journal. So some of it's bust, it's corrupted, you can't really get access to it, but apparently the population group was getting too big because a lot of the area was filled up with leisure areas and the armory, and people were wanting to get out, they wanted to gain access to the armory to fight their way out or to gain control, so he did not want that to happen. So he locked down the armory so people couldn't, well, fight him anymore. So he's saying, many have died, the vault has been irradiated, hopes of escape, and the rest of us, it's been locked down essentially, and they're hoping that the vault door will open before um, the reactor damage gets too great. So you can open the armory door from here and you can go further underneath the vault. There's also another journal fragment that you can get access to here just by the overseer's body. And let's see, so overtook the residence, technicians struggled to repair it, they weren't able to, and here they tell you that they're hoping that the door to the vault will open before the radiation gets to the point where it's going to kill them all. Because it will kill them all, it has turned them into ghouls and it's only a matter of time. So all systems to be appear, an autopilot, manual's been disabled, they can't get out, so they're trapped inside with the ghouls and the people can't get access to the armory. So then you're going to go, well, down, and you can get access to a couple other things, but this room is the only really good one. This will be the mainframe room, this is where the quest comes into play, which I actually hadn't known of before I went into the vault, but I completed anyway. So you get an SOS, people telling, can you transfer control uh, to another terminal so that they can get out of the vault, those are some of the survivors. Or, you can lock up the vault, close the vents, it means the share crop farmers up by Vegas, their crops will prosper. So that's your two choices. You lose no karma for doing this, okay? There's no karma. You can either choose to kill these people or doom the farmers. So they attacked them, they bust the vault, all the same things really. So you can close, um, you can open the reactor door and reroute the vault control, but it can only be done so by a terminal inside the reactor, which I think is kind of... Kind of a design flaw, but, you know, the Silver Seer seemed kind of stupid in the first place. So it's the quest Hard Luck Blues. So, you have two options here, okay? Free the people and doom the crop farmers, or let the people be locked in and die and save the crop farmers. This should be a no-brainer, save the people, but for some people this is apparently a hard decision, I've been told. So in my decision, I obviously rerouted the part. Now you're going to see a sound up here, this scared the crap out of me. I have no idea where this sound goes off at all. No idea. It sounds like a bullet kit, a bullet hitting reinforced glass, but there's nothing around here to, you know, do that. So I read root control and you complete the quest and you get 150 experience from it. You can then find them at the Aerotech office park later. And of course, some ghouls are going to spawn out of here completely out of the blue. I don't know where the fuck they came from. Bloody shitheads. 
so after that the only area to go to in the end is the armory. Now the armory has a lot of feral glowing ones and the problem with them is they'll keep healing all the other ghouls so take out the glowing ones first of all. Don't bother with the left here, all the interest now is the armory. So you've unlocked that from the overseer and in here you can get the all american, a unique gun and then the pulse gun which is located in a very hard lock um, cabinet which is located just the lower right here. So that's it, that's vault 34. It had a massive armory and it had a lot of recreational facilities but it didn't have enough space for people so eventually people wanted to leave, overseer didn't want that. They took over the armory and left the first group. Then he posted a lot of guards throughout the place to lock um, the armory and the vault door down. People attacked the reactor that was unguarded. It damaged, killed a lot of people, turned into ghouls, and there were only a few survivors. That's the story of Vault 34. I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you did. Um, leave any comments in the comment section below for suggestions on any further episodes. And as always, on end of the day, we'll keep your boredom at bay. And goodbye.